too many things happening all at once. You can see the pollen all collected. barely see her in there but the mother's in there and there's the babies I'm going to leave. I won't bother them. 
She's very concerned. It's a very sweet fragrance in the air from the flowers. Irises, lilacs, and who knows what else. I just sat down here on the little bench under a tree to see what I would see, what I would find. Because quite often things come out into the open while you're just waiting for it. I've said this many times in videos, it's better than chasing after things. Just find a spot, sit down and see what comes around. And I see a quail on the trail now. So a couple of things I noticed when I was sitting down and filming the groundhog, afterwards the bees and butterflies and stuff, noise scares the bees away. There was people going on dirt bikes on the other side of the... It sounded like they were right in the park. sounded like they were in the park, but as soon as the noise came, or even for that matter, tractors, cars, yeah. the bees took off. Yeah. And then as soon as they got quiet, they came back, the big bumblebees. Yeah. And that's something that's really... Uh, interesting about noise pollution and how it can impact uh, wildlife, animals, insects, whatever. I never, you, I'm yeah, sorry. that's you, okay. I just never, recording? yeah, I never realized it until you know you're sitting there and you're watching it firsthand. It, it's really interesting. Okay, what I've been trying to say for a while now is that there's such amazing, beautiful fragrances in the air here from the irises and the lilacs and stuff like this and I've been meaning to ask on YouTube this question uh, for a long time and uh, what happens with me is that a couple of times a year I get this uh, smell flashback I guess that's the only way you could uh, put it is a, it's a smell flashback and I remember a certain part of my life a certain time uh, maybe when I was a kid doing something and it was a fragrance in the air and it could be from anything I mean it could be the smell of my mom cooking or it could be a smell of uh, pine at uh, Christmas time uh, from the p uh, Christmas tree it could be anything but it's such a strong sense of smell and it instantly takes me back to a different time and like I said it happens maybe two or three times a year out of the blue unexpected but 
just something happens. And I wonder if there's anyone else out there that has experienced a similar thing. And uh, how common is it? Just a question. Nature is truly amazing. You know, I'm sitting here and look, marveling at this, looking at, staring, gazing at all this beauty, you know, whether it's the leaves on the trees, the flowers, the plants, everything, all the life that's come up. And I think that less than a month ago, I drove in here and uh, it was nothing like it. So basically in a month, or less than a month, everything has come alive. And it has such an urgency. There's such an urgency to life here because, uh, you know, it comes alive in May, June, July, and by August, it's starting to slow down. Many things will have uh, started to wilt. There's seasons coming to an end. September and then October by, then you know, you got frost and the days are a lot shorter such a short life and yet it can produce so much beauty really puzzles me when I hear you know people not accepting that there's real issues in the climate with the planet with pollution and they just want to live in denial not realizing that uh, well, this little place that we got is our Eden it's our Garden of Eden it's our ark and uh, if we don't look after it, it's not going to be here for the next generation. It's, it's not. It's that simple. But aside of the fact that it's not going to be here for the next generation, imagine what it will be like for generations to come as they see the decline and decline, maybe not daily, but surely year after year things are going to get worse and worse. And they're not going to look back at the generation that left it for them with fondness. And I know some people, well, who cares what they think, you know, I'll be long gone by then. But man, what a sick attitude if you're thinking that. It's the sound of the birds. We've seen all kinds of bumblebees and wasps and, whoop, there comes one right after me now. Whew. Give me the heebie-jeebies. To be honest, they scare the crap out of me. They're so big. But uh, we've seen the bumblebees, butterflies, hummingbirds. Oh, there's a butterfly on the purple bush over there. It's kind of flown away now. But so much life. And uh, there's so much more out there that I haven't seen, that Cindy and I haven't seen. As a matter of fact, talking about not seeing things, we're going on a trip next week, just a short one, going away for a week, and experiencing more of British Columbia. And what it has to offer. <laughs> 